Daily Mail Diary Editor Richard Eden has taken to social media to criticise the Duke of Sussex's bid to be granted police security for when he visits the UK. Writing to nearly 20,000 followers, Mr Eden said, It seems appropriate that this is the first time we have heard from Prince Harry and hashtag Meghan in 2022 and they're already moaning about something. The Duke has launched a legal battle against the UK's Home Office in a bid to be able to pay for police security for himself and his family while in Britain. Prince Harry stepped down from royal duties two years ago and now resides in California with Meghan and their two children Lilibet and Archie. As a non-working member of the royal family his police protection was removed. The statement from Harry's lawyers contained the claim it is unsafe for him and his family to visit the UK without police protection. The request for police protection has raised the possibility that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and their family may be planning a return to the UK for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations this spring. Prince Harry has stated he is willing to pay for the protection himself rather than lump the bill on British taxpayers. Now, lawyers acting for Prince Harry wrote a pre-action protocol letter to Home Office, indicating they'll seek judicial review if police security isn't provided by the UK government. The legal case could develop into a costly dispute in the High Court between government ministers and the Duke of Sussex. The action over Prince Harry's police protection is reportedly the first time in history a member of the royal family has sought to bring a legal case against Her Majesty's government. Mr. Eden's tweet was liked nearly 2,000 times, with many taking to the comment section to agree with the journalist. One Twitter user, Angie, wrote, They're consistent, I'll give them that. Consistent and utterly exhausting. Another, Jules, wrote, Surprised it took this long to moan about something. But I think he will use this as an excuse not to come back. Look how bad we are treated. They won't pay for me and my family's safety. Why do they need it? However a third user, Matthew, was confused, so, he wants to pay for his own security and is being denied and people are moaning about it? Am I reading this correctly? A fourth user, Kathy, laughed, oh, the frustration of having to wait a whole 15 days before you could moan about them. However did you manage? LOL. Another Twitter user snapped back, at Richard Deaton and at Dan Witten first I've heard from you guys this year and you appear to be moaning too. Pots and kettles. GB News presenter Dan Wooden, 38, similarly took to Twitter to bash the Duke of Sussex following the news over the security issues. He told his 412,600 followers, Prince Harry left the royal family in order to make tens of millions of dollars from Netflix, Spotify, banks and whoever the hell else will pay them. He can provide his own damn security if he wants to come back to the UK. And if he doesn't want to, then he will not be missed. Before, Prince Harry and Meghan failed to publicly send a message to the Duchess of Cambridge when she recently turned 40. This led many royal fans to wonder if Meghan and Harry even said happy birthday to Kate Middleton. Despite initial confusion, a royal expert has now spoken in defense of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and confirmed that the royal couple had a private Zoom call with their sister in law. Royal expert, Christopher Anderson, told, they did a video call. They wished her a happy birthday. It was, very private. Harry and Meghan were not about to post anything the way they did two years ago. Before they moved away from social media and still used some platforms for royal duties, the couple wished Kate a happy 38th birthday publicly on Twitter. A tweet said, wishing a very happy birthday to the Duchess of Cambridge today. Which also included a cake and heart emoji. The author added that in comparison to the Duchess' 38th birthday, this time everything was kept private. The Royal Insider also revealed that rather than celebrating this milestone birthday with a lavish party, Kate opted for a low-key celebration at her Norfolk home, Amner Hall. The birthday party was held at Amner Hall with family and friends. She only has a very small circle of friends, Kate does, and one of the interesting things they do is bake their own cake. Although Kate's celebration may have been very relaxed and involved homemade cake, her husband Prince William is expecting a larger celebration when he turns 40 later this year. The Queen has a big thing planned for, William, and he is going to throw something as well, said Christopher. So, there will be big parties again, if Covid allows anything like that to happen. This year is already set to be a big one for Her Majesty who is preparing to celebrate her Platinum Jubilee later this year in June. However, as Prince William is high in the royal line of succession, it is expected that his milestone birthdays would be celebrated with a bit of a flair, meaning the royals will have a lot to celebrate this year.